Hi learners, welcome to my channel uh, Mathematics at Madhuvala. So today I will discuss the topic in Laplace transforms which is application of Laplace transform to partial differential equations. So for considering the application of Laplace transforms to partial differential equations, the problem is solve dou y by dou d equal to d dou square y by dou x square where the given conditions are y of y by 2 comma t equal to 0 comma y of x comma 0 equal to 30 cos 5x dou y by dou x at x is equal to 0 equal to 0 so this is the given problem so we have to apply the knowledge of Laplace transforms to this partial differential equation and we have to finally solve this problem. Let us see what happens when Laplace transform is applied to the functions dou y by dou t and the derivatives dou y by dou t and dou square y by dou x square. So as we know it is L of dou y by dou t equal to P dou y bar minus y of x comma 0 L of dou square y by dou x square equal to d square y bar by dx square. So these are the Laplace transforms of dou y by dou t and dou, uh, dou square y by dou x square. Applying Laplace transforms to the given partial differential equation. So let us apply. When we apply, we get L of dou y by dou t equal to 3 into L of dou square y by dou x square. Let us have the conditions later. So this is p into y bar of x equal to 3 d square y bar by dx square. Now that implies you get p y bar of x comma p minus y of x comma 0 is given as 30 cos by dx square. Now let us solve this equation. It is 3 d square y bar by dx square minus p y bar of x comma p equal to minus 30 cos 5x. Now this is clearly a second order linear differential equation with constant coefficients. 3 d square minus p into y bar of x comma p equal to second order linear differential equation with constant coefficients we can consider the axial equation of this so axial equation of this is is 3m square minus p equal to 0 which gives us m is equal to plus r minus root p by 3 and so the complementary function is Therefore, the complementary function is, so what is the complementary function? y bar of c equal to c1 e to the power of root p by 3x plus c2 e to the power of minus root p by 3x. Now let us find the particular integral of this equation. So particular integral is Therefore, the 
जनरल सोल्यूशन ऑफ द इक्वेशन इज वाई इक्वल टू वाई बार सी प्लस वाई बार इक्वल टू वाई बार सी प्लस वाई बार बी विच गिवस एस वाई बार ऑफ एक्स का मा बी इक्वल टू वाई सी इज सी वन इक्वल टू पावर ऑफ टू बी बाय थ्री एक्स प्लस सी टू इक्वल टू पावर ऑफ माइनस टू बी बाय थ्री एक्स प्लस थर्टी कॉस फाइव एक्स बाय पी प्लस सेवेंटी फाइव नाउ लेट अस सॉल्व फॉर सी वन एंड सी टू फॉर सॉल्विंग फॉर सी वन एंड सी टू फाइव सी वन एंड सी टू लेट अस यूज़ द कंडीशंस सो वाई ऑफ़ फाइव बाय टू कॉमन टी इक्वल टू जीरो वाई ऑफ़ एक्स का मस जीरो इक्वल टू थर्टी कॉस फाइव एक्स एंड आल्सो दो वाई बाय दो एक्स एंड एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो इज़ जीरो सो लेट अस यूज़ दो वाई बाय दो एक्स एंड एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो इज़ जीरो सो टू यूज़ दिस कंडीशन व्हेन वी टेक सो दैट इंप्लाइज लैपलेस ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ दो वाई बाय दो एक्स इज़ इक्वल टू एल Since 
cos m by y2 is 0, this becomes 0. Now e1 into, see that is in the form e power ax plus e power minus ax, we know that cos h ax is equal to cos h ax is equal to e power ax plus e power minus ax by 2. We know this formula. So based on this, e power ax plus e power minus ax is 2 into cos h ax. Cos h ax means root p by 3 into pi by 2 plus 0 equal to 0. That means equal to 0. So, 2 cos h pi by 3 into p by 2 is not equal to 0. That implies c1 is equal to 0. From which you get that implies c2 is also 0. Now, this equation, equation 1 gives us y bar of x comma p equal to c1, c2 both are 0. So, you get 30 cos 5x by p plus 75. Now, we want y of x comma t taking Inverse Laplace transforms on both sides we get L inverse of y bar of x comma p equal to 30 cos 5x is constant L inverse of 1 by p plus 75. So that implies y of x comma t equal to 30 cos 5x into e to the power of minus 75. So this is the solution of the given partial differential equation and